perfect. Mm. Got pretty dramatic there, didn't we? Oh. Mm. You're talking about <laughs> Ezra. <laughs> 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 Has returned me on. That's what did it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we need four nine four. We'll drag out the peas and cantos next. And <laughs> <laughs> Too tough for me. I used to have a girlfriend come back from the library. He said, "You got those fucking cantos again? You never read them." I say, "But I try." Why do you keep bringing him? I don't know. I don't know. What was it like, Hank, when you discovered Fanti? Well, it was, especially his first book. It was like a writing of clarity from a, it sounds corny, from an open heart. Just somebody speaking outwardly of exactly the way it is. You know, most writing is so veiled, so convoluted, so hidden. It's covered by fog. It's covered by workmanship, carefulness. This guy just came out and just said things, which was what I was trying to do at the same time. So when I saw that, I said, yes, it's possible. He did it. I can do it. So uh, it was a big boost to come across to him. Were you living downtown at the time, too? Yeah, downtown L.A., you know, kind of around, actually around Bunker Hill, where he wrote oh, about that stuff, what well, made it more stranger. So, yeah, well, uh, it was just luck. I pulled it on the show. Hmm. Did you know each other? No, not till near the end, you know. I told Linda how much I admired him. And, he was dying, and she said, why don't you go see him? I said, I don't want to bother him. I never wanted to bother him. So we went, and I told him, you know, I'd admired him for since I was in my 20s, and uh, he accepted it all right. So. Is he living out in Malibu then? Yeah, you know, I got that. House he made, yeah. got it working for the movies. So, yeah, we went down there once, and uh, he'd been out of the hospital. And they propped him up at the, at the table, you know, and he, he said, well, I'm not allowed to drink, but I'm going to have a glass of wine with you. And I right. said, thank you, John. And then, uh, he sat a while, we were talking, and suddenly got tired. He said, I have to go to bed. And I put him back in his bed. And then we were all sitting there talking, getting drunk. That poor guy was back in his bedroom. Hmm. Hmm. Though we were talking about him, a lot of it. And he let out this mournful howl. It was horrible. So the pain did, do you remember that when he mm -hmm. howled from the back room? The pain finally did come out, what oh. was happening to him, being chopped away inch by inch. So, uh, oh, that wasn't uh, him that way. But you know, uh, I went to see him, or Linda and I did, and uh, it's kind of, prolonged his agony, I made him live longer because they said everybody thought he's ready to go and all of a sudden here he is all talking about writing his next novel mm -hmm. and he did write one while he was in there. So We prolonged his agony, I guess. <laughs> well, you could say the yeah. other way that you gave yeah, him one more piece yeah, of hope. Yeah, so... Mm. What a bulldog. Yeah, I was calling him, but he looked like a little bulldog. No eyes, no legs. Oh, he was blind. Yeah, he was blind. God. No eyes uh, and no legs. And he was a little man mm, in, originally, physically. And <laughs> seeing him lying on the bed with no legs and unable to see. <clears throat> and they told me one time, you know, the doctor was just here, Hank. You know what this son of a bitch said? 
Well, John, I think we'll just lop off another couple inches today. Mm -hmm. I was about his toes. The done his right oh. foot, his, his right mm -hmm. leg, no, his left leg. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> first his foot, his toes, his foot, <clears throat> and then his left leg. And then they had to do his right leg. They started with his toes, and he came, the doctor came in and said, well, we're going to lop off a couple more toes today. Lop off. Mm. I mean, like, lop off a little plant or something. I guess the, the doctor's trying to say it in a cheerful way or something. Yeah. It didn't work. In his view. But d didn't he wrote the full life? Um, yeah, it wasn't. The full life. One yeah. full of life. Yeah, back. Way back. That was what, no, 58? No, that came a little later. Some, lar I think some large publishing company. Yeah, did. but he wrote yeah. it a way back. Right? Oh, he did. Oh. Yeah, it was made oh. into a film. Yeah. Oh. Mm. But there was a richness there. Oh, yeah. yeah. That guy could put the word down. Yeah. For a long time, I, th uh, I thought maybe I shouldn't tell anybody about Fantic. I said they might think. That he entirely influenced me, and I said, "What kind of coward are you, man? You can't stand on your own two feet and admit this man influenced you. What kind of person are you? Come on out and say it." So I did. You said it was a great yeah. interview. Yeah, it's a wonderful interview. I mean, what's there to fear? Yeah, but I also feel a lot of Sherwood Anderson in your stuff. Oh yeah, sure. You you got me there, Sherwood. Quite a boy, his simple lines. Yeah. I just love to read his page. I just look at a page of his writing, the way the words went across. There weren't these big blocky paragraphs. It were just little lines. He knew how not to bore you with his writing. Mm. Very important. Died swallowing a toothpick. Oh, yeah. He's drinking martinis oh. with Thornton Wilder. I guess one of the toothpicks went down. It uh, got into his system and they tried to cut it out. It didn't work. <coughs> well, you got to go one way or the other. That's what the literary life can do for you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see any Mar martinis don't here. Don't drink martinis. No. <laughs> I swallowed a few corks. <laughs> <laughs> Bottle caps. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to have seen a meeting between Hank and Dylan Thomas. No, a we wouldn't have made the it. night of the two. What would have happened? No, he's too, he's too loud, Wendy, for me. Oh, no. Mm -mm. No, I'm sorry. No. Mm -mm. If you feel a need to stop, just stop and say, you know, cut. And it's easy for me I, to put I it want, together. I want to do the short story and wind it up. Well, we got through the fucking poems. This should be a ball. Yeah. <laughs> it's all behind us. We're ready whenever you want. Okay. okay.